Gabriel and Mr. Killian here, and Ms. Hollett and Mr. Schmidt. And we're going to do activity number five, which is the two balloons lab. Balloon number one, balloon number two. Now, in balloon number one, you can tell it's doing something that most party balloons, or most balloons, don't do. We are using in this, this second balloon is not the same as what's inside of this balloon. Inside this balloon, we have hydrogen. And in this balloon, we have Killian's air. Well, I'm going to add another one. Again, in this experiment, we're trying to keep only one thing changed. That's our independent variable. One difference between this balloon and this balloon. Everything else we want to keep absolutely the same. So, Ms. Howitt, let me know when you think I've got it about the right size. We get a balloon with a bad ending. Is that a little more? A little more. Good. Is that about right? Mm -hmm. All right. So, same balloon, same color balloon, same terrible taste, same knot in the balloon, same knot in the string. Same kind of string. Everything in this experiment, we're doing exactly the same, except this balloon contains hydrogen, and this balloon contains Killian's air. So in this one, just to make sure we remember which one's which, other than obviously it's floating, K-A stands for Killian's air. And over in this one, we'll have hydrogen. Now, we're gonna flash forward for 24 to 48 hours, and let's see what happens. Okay, two days have passed since these balloons were filled. This one that says KA was filled with Killian's air. This one was filled with hydrogen, H for hydrogen. So two days have passed, and so here is your evidence. What do you think's going on? 